This video is the part 3 of how to form sentences in Turkish. And if you have not watched the previous videos yet, please go and watch them first. To be able to demonstrate today's important points, I'm going to add another element to our sentences. And this will be the time expression. But again, today we are focusing on the direct object. In typical sentences, the word order goes like this. Subject, time expression, direct object, and the predicate. Biz dün evimizi sattık. Biz dün evimizi sattık. Here in this sentence, as you can see, there is a definite direct object with an accusative case suffix. Evimizi. Evimizi. Biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. Biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. And in this one, there is an indefinite direct object. Kitap. Kitap. Here is an important point that you need to know very well. The indefinite direct object is placed right before the predicate, basically the verb. The indefinite direct object is placed right before the predicate. This is very critical. Let's go back to the example once again. Biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. Biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. Okuyacağız is the predicate of this sentence and kitap is the indefinite direct object and it is placed immediately before the verb. You may have heard already. In Turkish sentences, the word order is extremely flexible. That is correct. And we will see the details of this in another video later. However, this is a very strict rule. No matter how long your sentence is, or no matter where you place the predicate, the indefinite direct object comes right before the predicate. Of course, when you have additional phrases in your sentence, then you may see additional indefinite direct objects as a part of those phrases, but this does not change the rule. I will also talk about a few exceptions to this rule later. Biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. But if you say biz kitap yarın okuyacağız, biz kitap yarın okuyacağız, this will be grammatically incorrect. Of course, we will understand what you mean, but it is going to be grammatically incorrect. You have to say biz yarın kitap okuyacağız. Biz Yarın kitap okuyacağız. Another example. Ben az önce bir mektup aldım. Ben az önce bir mektup aldım. The indefinite direct object of this sentence is bir mektup. And as you see, it is placed right before the predicate. But if you make your sentence like Ben bir mektup az önce aldım. Ben bir mektup az önce aldım. This will be grammatically Incorrect. Once again, you have to say Ben az önce bir mektup aldım. Ben az önce bir mektup aldım. Another example. Annem her akşam masal anlatır. Annem her akşam masal anlatır. The indefinite direct object of this sentence is masal. And again, as you see, it is placed immediately before the predicate. And if you form your sentence like Annem masal her akşam anlatır. Annem masal her akşam anlatır. Basically, if you move the indefinite direct object to another place, that will again be incorrect. You have to say Annem her akşam masal anlatır. Annem her akşam masal anlatır. In addition, in the previous video, I have mentioned that the indefinite direct object is in the nominative form. This means it does not receive any case suffixes. And in almost all cases, you will see that the noun of the indefinite direct object remains singular without any plural suffix. For example, when you want to translate I read books into Turkish, since Books is in the plural form. You may want to say Ben kitaplar okurum. Ben kitaplar okurum. 
However, for such cases, we would say ben kitap okurum, ben kitap okurum, without the plural suffix attached to the indefinite direct object. If you say ben kitaplar okurum, we will definitely understand what you mean, but this type of sentence also sounds weird to the native ear. Here is the thing. Again, most of the time, if we need to make the indefinite direct object plural, we use quantifying words. Take a look at this sentence. She took photographs out of her pocket. The literal translation of this is O cebinden fotoğraflar çıkardı. O cebinden fotoğraflar çıkardı. As you see, there is a plural suffix attached to the indefinite direct object in this sentence. This is not totally incorrect, but it is not the common use. You wouldn't hear or use this. If we have to say a sentence like this, we tend to use quantifying words like this. O cebinden birkaç tane fotoğraf çıkardı. O cebinden birkaç tane fotoğraf çıkardı. As you see, now the word fotoğraf is not plural, but there is a quantifying word birkaç tane. If you have been watching my videos, I mentioned it many times that when a Turkish word is used with a quantifier or numeral, the word itself remains singular, unlike in English. For example, araba. Araba means car. When we want to say cars in Turkish, we attach the plural suffix and we say arabalar. Arabalar. But if you want to say four cars in Turkish, then we will say dört araba. Dört araba without any plural suffix attached to the word, as you see. And if you want to say, for example, many cars, then we will say bir sürü araba. Bir sürü araba. Again, there is no plural suffix attached to the word araba, as you see. Anyways, let's continue. Here is another information for you. When your sentence has a definite direct object, including more than one noun or possessive construction or ejectable construction, you can attach the accusative case suffix only to the last one. For example, Arabayı ve evi satacağım. Arabayı ve evi satacağım. As you see, the accusative case suffix has been attached to the both words. Arabayı, evi. It is totally okay to form the sentence like this. However, in such sentences, we tend to attach the accusative case suffix only to the last word. And we say, araba ve evi satacağım. Araba ve evi satacağım. Or, of course, when you use the conjunction ile instead of ve, then you will say, araba ile evi satacağım. Araba ile evi satacağım. Of course, you can attach the conjunction ile to the first word like a suffix and you will say, araba ile evi satacağım. Araba ile evi satacağım. Another example, alkolü ve sigarayı bırakacak. Alkolü ve sigarayı bırakacak. Again, as you see, both nouns have the accusative case suffix. Alkolü, sigarayı. Now, let's attach the accusative case suffix only to the last one. And we're going to say, alkol ve sigarayı bırakacak. Alkol ve sigarayı bırakacak. In addition, the nouns in the definite direct object may have additional suffixes before the accusative case suffix like this. Çantamı, şapkamı ve ayakkabımı unuttum. Çantamı, şapkamı ve ayakkabımı unuttum. Then you can also say çanta, şapka ve ayakkabımı unuttum. Çanta, şapka ve ayakkabımı 
unuttum. As you see, we did not only remove the accusative case suffix, but also the possessive suffix from the words chanta and shapka. We attach them only to the last one. Chanta, shapka ve ayakkabımı unuttum. But as I said, it is totally okay to say çantamı, şapkamı ve ayakkabımı unuttum. All right. You have learned a lot of things today. Now, write down some sentences for me and let me see what you have learned. And in the next video, I'm going to add time and location expression. So, we're going to build more complex and longer sentences. Thanks again for your time. See you in the next videos.